Welcome to the Drew Mesmer Show on the Southwestern Indiana Sports Network. Join us each week as we go inside Forest Park basketball with head coach Drew Mesmer. Now for the Drew Mesmer Show on the Southwestern Indiana Sports Network, powered by Milligan Brosmer Communications. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA. Hey everyone, Joey Chestnut here, world champion competitive eater. I follow Southwest Indiana Sports Network, and if you're hungry for sports, you should follow them too. Follow the Southwest Indiana Sports Network at SWISportsNetwork.com or search Roku for our channel at SW Indiana Sports Network. Hello, welcome to this week's Two Master Show. And Coach, last week you took on Lagodi. At Lagodi, and why don't you recap that game for us? Yeah, so going on the road, number six uh, ranked opponent in the, in one A. Um, Lagodi's just you know, as we talked about last week, just a, just a really good team, got a ton of size. Um, Peyton Bledsoe was was as good as advertised. I believe he had twenty six points. Um, but you know, coming out in the first quarter, we were able. to, you know, really able to match their intensity early on, which which I thought was going to be um, possibly our biggest challenge, just because they're they are the most physical and best defensive team that we had seen to date. Um, you know, it, and really, I, I was nervous. You know, to see how long it would take, whether it take four minutes or whatever it would be, um, to match their intensity. But you know, before the game, we just talked to our guys about uh, you know what it means to, to play for our program. You know, being being the winningest two A program over the last few years, and, and just talking to them about, you know, throughout throughout the week, like any other team, we, we had our challenges, um, and, and we just discussed that that meeting the minimum expectation is not how we got our program where it hurt it. Uh, we you know we just talked about that in this program we celebrate extraordinary play, diving on the floor, uh, taking charges, just things like that, things that, that are going above and beyond. Um, so, you know, I think that we got our guys in the right the right mindset. We were able to go into that game uh, and force the Goaty to, to call an early timeout because we were able to hit a couple of shots early on, uh, as well as, you know, we had a defensive game plan, you know, against, against Peyton Bledsoe that I, that I felt that we uh, executed pretty well, even though, again, he, he did have 26 points, but, they were definitely hard earned. You know, it's 26 points on 18 shots. So, um, first, you know, like I said, first quarter, really competed. Really proud of their their intensity um, and and how, how they shared the basketball. Uh, second quarter, Gody made a little bit of a run. I believe it was 24-24, and then Peyton Bledsoe, of course, does what he does and knocks down a three at the buzzer to give him a 27-24 halftime lead. Coming out into the third, uh, you know, it just was a back and forth battle. We were able to to actually regain the lead, um, and, and it, it was just I, I'm telling you, a game for for an early December matchup uh, in, in the regular season, you know. So, moving into the fourth quarter, you know, again back and forth, they were able to to, to, to get a couple extra offensive. Reasons. Of course, when you play a good, a good basketball team. An offensive rebound, especially in the second half, normally leads to a basket. So I believe they they got at least one three and two uh, uh, floater and in, in, in a they got seven points off of just just those extra effort plays. Um, I believe well at the end of the third quarter as well we we lost the guy uh, and they, they were able to hit another buzzer beater because the forty six we were at forty six five um, again into the fourth just kind of. Weren't able to, to handle our business, um, you know, unfortunately. But I, I, I think that we're getting closer and closer to being able to close out these games. Um, we, we were led in scoring by, by Jace Bird. He had 33 points on 7-11. Um, 
shooting from from the three point land, which is which is a big time performance. Uh, you know, one of the other things that that I definitely am proud of. I know I, I talked about how a few of those offensive rebounds kind of cost us later on at fourth quarter, but we were able to out rebound a team that had their experience and their size and physicality, uh, and, and we only turned the ball over six times against them. So definitely some progress being made on on our end. Uh, they they were able to pull it out there. They they stole the basketball with eight seconds to go and and laid it in to go up five. So we lost six to one six. But you know, just a lot of positives, a lot of um, you know learning learning experiences for our guys. And, and as I said earlier, it's just it just feels very much so like we're building momentum to where the next time we're in this sort of situation where we're up in the fourth quarter, similar to like central game, that we'll have. We'll have the experience and the confidence to close the game out, uh, and, and as well as just we won't have these these mental lapses on on a few missed box outs on, on long rebounds. I think that we're closing the gap on that stuff, so I'm I'm, I'm taking some positives away. Even though uh, you know, in this program, we really don't celebrate moral victories by any means. Well, one streak that your team's got to be happy about is that uh, is, is after four straight home games or away games, they finally get to play at home. Yeah, uh, we've talked about it. Uh, you know, we, we we certainly have talked about it. We're excited to play in front of our home crowd. We're bringing back the, the second sectional championship team that we've had in program history. Uh, the 1993 team will be there. We'll celebrate them in between games. So just just a lot of, uh, you know, positive, fun festivities that, that'll be going on in Beekler Arena that night. But, you know, at the same time, it, it, it's never really – it hasn't bothered me to address this because I didn't want to. I didn't want to draw attention to it because we play one home game and then boom, we're back. You know, we're back up to North Davies for three more. So hey, I knew it was going to be a really tough stretch, and and really we're just getting started with this. You know, we're we're, we're at the halfway point really with that first eight game. You know, with with how it was scheduled. And we're back on the Drew Master Show. Right, of these messages to our sponsors. You're listening to Southwest Media Sports Network. Our good most most for communications. Do you have old videotapes and films sitting around your house? Let Milligan Communications convert them to DVD for you. VHS, VHS-C, 8mm, or VEDA. If they are videotapes, Milligan Communications can do them all. They can also convert 8mm, Super 8, and 16mm film. DVDs would make a great Christmas gift. Call Milligan Communications today, 812-630-2449 for more information. You dream it, we create it at Street Dreams. custom paint, fabrication, stereos, wheels, tires, and more. We're also your authorized Sinister Sound dealer. Street Dreams 317-624-1000, where you expect quality and get At MAD, we believe in zero. Zero fathers who aren't there for bedtime. Zero mothers who miss the first day of school. Zero children who never come home. We believe in zero victims of drunk driving. With MAD, your support adds up to zero. Because we believe in a hug on the first day of school. We believe in another bedtime story. We believe in no more victims. We believe in zero. Hey everyone, Joey Chestnut here, world champion competitive eater. I follow Southwest Indiana Sports Network, and if you're hungry for sports, you should follow them too. Follow the Southwest Indiana Sports Network at SWISportsNetwork.com or search Roku for our channel at SW Indiana Sports Network. And welcome back to the Drew Master Show, and we're joined by Morris Park, varsity assistant, Chris Atkins. Chris, how are you doing today? Doing all right. Thanks for having me. You know, last week we talked to, to Coach Winkler, uh, and uh, this week we're talking to Coach Atkins, and, uh, you know, it, it's always good to get different perspectives of different coaches. And, um, you know, um, Coach, why don't you go over where you're teaching at and, and what, some of your coaching experience? So I'm at Cedar Crest Intermediate. I'm a sixth grade science and social studies teacher. Um, this is my first year. My family just moved back to Du Bois County from Tucson, Arizona, where um, I taught sixth grade out there. 
Um, coaching experience, I've uh, coached freshmen, boys and girls out in Arizona and um, was a varsity cross-country coach and then a distance track coach for the high school team. And um, currently here at Forest Park, I'm a cross-country coach. I'm doing varsity assistant for basketball, and then I'm going to be the boys varsity track coach. So staying busy, um, but uh, family's really enjoying being back, um, you know, coaching in the community that, you know, I grew up in. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that you guys had a pretty good uh, cross-country season as well. Yes, uh, very successful. Um, you know, both boys and girls teams accomplished a goal. Um, girls team made the semi-state. Had um, uh, boys team made it out of sectional, making it to regional. And, you know, um, being the varsity assistant coach, you guys hit 2-2 on the season. Uh, what do you think about the Forest Park Rangers to this point? Um, you know, they are showing a lot of growth, um, you know, going into the Goody game uh, Friday night. Um, we had uh, some bad practices, so uh, we were really pleased with the way they played. Um, you know, and I just think it was a game that we can, um, you know, grow from. And um, it seems like teams are really coming along, um, playing um, more like how we'd want them to, um, playing harder, um, the attention to details is improving. So, um just excited to, uh, you know, get better every day and uh, see that growth and let them know, you know, share that with them. So kind of continues throughout the season. And this week you got Northeast Dubois. And, uh, you know, talking to Coach Winkler last week, I think he haven't been able to play Northeast Dubois the last two seasons. And uh, he, he's hoping for no snow this week so you guys get to actually play them. Yeah, so we have uh, Northeast Dubois Saturday. It's our first home game. So I'll be excited to get back and be clearing, uh, um, you know, play a county team that we haven't played in a couple of years. Um, Northeast Dubois looks really good. Um, just starting to scout them now. But, um, you know, they have five or six seniors back. Um, so looking forward to watching some film on them, um, you know, and putting together a game plan to uh, try to get a – Home, our first home win, and that's I guess that's what I talked to Coach Messner about too. You know, you guys were road warriors to begin the season. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it'll be nice to be home. Um, be exciting to get the fans back in Beagle Arena and um, just uh, play in front of our home fans at home. Well, Coach, good luck the rest of the season. I appreciate that. And you will listen to the Drew Messer Show on the Southwest Indiana Sports Network, powered by Milligan Brothers for Communications. We'll be back right after messages from our sponsors. At MAD, we believe in zero. Zero fathers who aren't there for bedtime. Zero mothers who miss the first day of school. Zero children who never come home. We believe in zero victims of drunk driving. With MAD, your support adds up to zero. Because we believe in a hug on the first day of school. We believe in another bedtime story. We believe in no more victims. We believe in zero. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Do you have old videotapes and films sitting around your house? Let Milligan Communications convert them to DVD for you. VHS, VHSC, 8mm, or VEDA. If they are videotapes, Milligan Communications can do them all. They can also convert 8mm, Super 8, and 16mm film. DVDs would make a great Christmas gift. Call Milligan Communications today, 812-630-2449 for more information. When you think sporting goods, think no further than All-Star Sports in Ferdinand. Custom embroidery, screen printing, team uniforms, sports equipment, 
and sports apparel and shoes. We have it all. Give Brad a call today at 812-367-1618 or visit them in the Country Plaza Shopping Center in Ferdinand. All-Star Sports is open Monday through Friday, 10 to 7, and Saturday, 9 to 4. All-Star Sports, when you're thinking sporting goods. Hey, everyone. Joey Chestnut here, world champion competitive eater. I follow Southwest Indiana Sports Network, and if you're hungry for sports, you should follow them, too. Follow the Southwest Indiana Sports Network at SWISportsNetwork.com or search Roku for our channel at SW Indiana Sports Network. And welcome back to the Master Show. And, Coach, I'll tell you what, uh, you, Coach Winkler, Coach Atkins, uh, is, is, it, is it a requirement to, to, uh, to, to have to wear the, the Ranger jersey as a player to be able to coach? Well, um, honestly, you know, the, the, other, the other two assistants that we have as well, uh, David Lusk was, was a 2016 graduate, and Kyle Schlachter was a, was a classmate and teammate of mine. He was a 2013 graduate. So it, it kind of certainly appears that way. I, I don't think that was, that was by design. Um, but, you know, the, the, the thing is that that really helps having alumni, things like that, is one, you know, we're, you, you know you're going to have that buy into the program. You know, you don't have to really worry about them leaving for another job, thing like that, as well as they, they've they been there and they're able to share the, the same experiences that, that I can with them as as a guy who walked the halls there, put the on, I was able to represent this you know, knows what what it means uh, to, to put the jersey on, and it, what it took to get you know a program where it's at. So it's definitely uh, a, a cool coincidence. It, it wasn't by design, but it, it's great to have everybody on the same page for sure. And uh, this week, uh, on you're going to be able to take on the uh, Northeast Du Bois Jeeps, who sit at three and two on the season. They dropped their last or. Though they, they won their last game, I'm sorry, I almost uh, I was looking at the Orleans game. They played Tell City, and they were came out at 73 to 28. Victor, um, why don't you preview that game for us? Yeah, uh, so you know, Du Bois is a, a similar to like the, like the Crawford County game. They are exactly what you would think that they would be. Uh, they've got a bunch, of, you know, they've got solid size, nothing huge. Uh, a lot of six two, six three kids. With watch them on film. You know, they they just look like they, have, you know, they've been in the weight room, what the weight room or farm strength, whatever they have going on there. So their guys are physical, so uh, they play a brand of basketball where it's where they a lot of quick away teams. If you if you're not physical with them, uh, jump to the basketball, you can send their ball screens. Um, they they can put you in a world of hurt. As always, not just with their physicality, they're going to play really really hard. I mean, they play hard. They crash fast hard. So it, it's again. I mean, our schedule, as we as we talked, is it's the very first time that we get together about about the demands of our schedule. Um, you know, really, the the easiest part of our schedule is probably half. I mean, it's it's looking nothing but but harder from this point forward, and that's that's fine. That's a challenge we're we're willing to take on. We have no option with, with our schedule, but to. To, you know, not just say it. We truly have to take it one game at a time. Um, I told our guys that. I mean, we have, we haven't even discussed what lies ahead um, in in the following week. We're not we're not focused on that in the slightest bit. We're worried about Dubois. Uh, we're worried about defending home court. Uh, the county rival that Coach Winkler pointed out on the show last week that um, we have we haven't played them in the last couple of years because of COVID and and then they had it. There was a accident i believe last year that got the the game postponed or canceled so um it we haven't played them since 2000 and i guess 20 or, two, or 2019 so it, it, it's been a while it's great a county rival we're just we're looking forward to to seeing if our guys have have learned and grown from their mistakes because i'm sure they're going to test us and and put us into a situation where we've got to make plays down the stretch or get some stops at the very least to be able to seal the deal. So we're, we're looking forward to the challenge that they'll bring. Well, Coach, you know, home game, first home game of the year, bringing back a past sectional champion. Uh, good luck this week. Appreciate it, Joe. Thank you. And you've been listening to the Drew Master Show on South Virginia Sports Network, powered by Milligan Brothers for Communications. We'll see you next week. This is the Milligan Brothers.
the most important, amazingest game ever played in the universe. The pitcher is fierce. Danny Roberts is up at bat. And the crowd goes wild! He just won the game! Let's go! Yes! We protect the car you drive. Go get him, Danny. And the dreams that drive you. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. Becoming a licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student-athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student-athletes, earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to ihsaa.org officials today.